Hey guys, how's it going? Um, pretty much could be one of the most important tutorials uh, that I'm doing right now. Not only for my server, but this can be used for others. And it's something that I don't think enough people understand. Now I'm right now in an empty world. Uh, this, was, this is what will happen is if you're on a server that might be merged with a bunch of different worlds and you got booted off. Uh, generally, you'll be in the place where you got booted off. In the case of here, I'm not. Uh, let me just go over to where I know this train's going to spawn, where I was last night. So it's going to load the world up, and uh, it'll take its time for a second. So I want to make sure that's all done. Let the world uh, load itself up here. So the case in point here is what, I, what I'm doing is I'm showing you what happens when the network drops you normally when the network drops you uh, it's either due to something in the network uh, that has an issue with run 8 and it may drop you and it may drop a bunch of other people sometimes the server can have issues a lot of times it's because of the connection that you're using uh, if you're using wireless or something like that it times out uh, these things happen. Normally when it happens, your train will stay where it is. However, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes it will take your train with you. And for me, at least my server and for others, that may be something that's important to those. They want to have their trains. They want, they want to make sure because they've spent time building trains or whatever. Um, they want to get their trains back. They don't want to just have them disappear out of nowhere, especially if somebody took the time to build it and it's only, you know, a quarter of the way on this journey or whatever, okay? So anyways, uh, enough of this. Let me show you how it's done. So last night I was switching here, for example. Now, I'm doing this video because this has happened a couple times lately on my server where people have lost a train and they, you know, they don't know how to recover it. They don't know what to do. This is what you do. First of all, uh, you could be anywhere, you could be options, whatever. I'm going to show you what I was doing last night. Now, I didn't get dropped from the network or anything like that. But what you want to do is you want to go to the Spawn tab, and you could be anywhere. You could be Extra Board Train, whatever. You want to go to Auto Saves. Whatever pulls up, you got to go to the Spawn tab, you got to go to Auto Saves. Now, down here, you've got different things you got auto save world auto save train I believe auto save train will normally be on the bottom but you don't want auto save world you want auto save train okay and then if you've been kicked and you can't get back on you may want to do this anyways and and just I'll show you what I why in a minute uh, if you can't get back on or you're having issues I'd recommend you do this anyways because if you start playing again and you get click onto something else, your autosave train is going to change. And you'll never be able to recover at least where it is in that position. So autosave train, you can't get back on or whatever, you lost your train, always go to autosave train first. Hit spawn train into world. And as you can see, voila, there's my two engines from last night where I left them. Now, of course, I was switching a fully, you know, a yard that was full of cars here and everything else, but you're no longer on, on the network. I'm not on a network right now, okay? So, for, for that situation, you know, you can go into here, grab onto the train. Now, of course, this train's meaningless. It's just two engines, but still, if you have a train somewhere at a siding, you want to do the same thing. So now you want to save the train. So you're no longer in autosave. So you want to go to train and then just save it to something uh, and call it uh, temp. I don't believe you have to select the route. I could be wrong, but it's the, we're in the Mojave sub right here. Just call it temp or something that you'll remember. Okay. So that's fine. We've saved it temp. Great. Now you can delete it and go do about your business and do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about the autosave train anymore. Uh, it's dealt with. 
so let me just go for example there was a train uh, yeah VCLO SBD3 um, and I appreciate the uh, message by the way on the for form uh, the communication is really important for me on my form if somebody has an issue doesn't know what to do just communicating is is very appreciated and I'd rather have the communication than no communication um, so let me show you how you can get it back into the position you want and I'm not picking on this person by the way I just want to be very clear um, this is something that's actually been going on for a while and I I just want to be clear to that person I'm, I'm certainly I appreciate what you've done uh, this has been happening for a few users for a while and I just want to make sure everybody's aware uh, everybody's got to learn so this is a learning experience so I'm gonna use their example only because it's perfect the, the message that they posted was perfect because it tells me everything that I need to know and I appreciate that and that's what I, I, I need everybody to do so um, what you want to do in this case here VCLO SBD3 was the train now if you don't have because this train was downloaded or whatever I I have the same downloads so I know um, from there I can I can get that no problem uh, starts Clovis so it's going to be on the needle sub uh, so it's Clo SBD3 and so Clo SBD3 is there awesome go ahead and spawn that train here's what you do if you have a backup first of all you don't need to go that way because you would you would have the backup and you can do that but for whatever reason let's say you lost it and you and you don't you don't have that backup anymore this is why you would go and do this so we got VCLO SBD3 which is sitting here at needles so this is the train nothing's changed with it it's uh, a downloadable train uh, that, our, that our RTS system generates so what you want to do again is, is select it now you're not on the network right now so control F1 okay now you've got that uh, you want to copy uh, I believe it's to current yeah there you go so you copy it to current right and then now you can you can delete this you've copied it to the current it's it's stored in your train maker upper that's control F1 is your train maker upper just so you know let me just go to the message again again this is this is this message is perfect um, so I was working on the VCLO SBD3 between Silverwood and Cajon at approximately 10.09 uh, perfect uh, the time uh, between Silverwood uh, and Cajon so that's on a different route so that's that's really cool um, so it's been it's gone for a while uh, Silverwood Silverwood Cajon du, 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 let me see here looking at the different Silverwood where is Silverwood on here I should know that by now Cajon between Silverwood darn <laughs> The name sounds familiar, but it's, uh, it's, uh, oh, Silverwood. <laughs> okay. Silverwood and Cajon. Never mind me. I'm like, what's Silverwood? It sounds familiar. I'm like, duh, it's that junction. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah. Let me just put, if you're not too sure where everything is because you're popping into it, uh, hit shift 8 there's Cajon that way you know your directions uh, so ca Cajon's there okay Silverwood's up there So I'm just looking where to where to place this train exactly. Uh, oh, I'm confused. I'm lost. Help. Where I want to be. I wanted to be at Cajon, but I wanted to be kind of back. Well, let's just do Cajon. Let's go ahead and do Cajon. I'm just 
just looking at the way the uh, yeah that looks about right okay so there's a track here there's all kinds of stuff coming off of it uh, I guess you want to be on the, the the main line not the not the big grade so we'll just put it right here okay right before that little it doesn't matter we'll put it right here okay uh, I don't know where this train exactly was but I'm just gonna put it right at Cajon okay so you hit F12 to get to your ground and then now we go back to your control F1 and you want to place train on track and there it is now you gotta do a little bit more than that though uh, first click it make sure everything's there it'll roll a bit that's okay um, just to show you something you don't have to do this but just to show for those that are wondering you can see that the all the information for the train is on there so it's got the the marks speed clo SBD 18 all the cars that are marks that are loaded for San Bernardino is all set up there and okay I'm on the wrong track I'm on the grade that's not good okay that's not a problem I got screwed up I put myself on the wrong track see so I forgot that's the end of the grade okay so no problem we'll delete that see what I mean just to get my bearings correct um, yeah so we'll put ourselves on the right track We'll put ourselves just before the switch once again control F1 place train on track all right perfect you click on it again just to make sure that you've assigned yourself now you go ahead and you want to go to say remember how we were saving trains before so you want to go ahead you're on the cajon sub now I don't think you have to click these but anyways you just call yourself temp or you could have called yourself the train whatever but call yourself temp is good enough all right so you can delete this now now put yourself on the network so if you're close to the network already you should be fine go ahead and join the network and there's a train down there you gotta make sure that the area is clear uh, if, if you're coming on right after it happened you'll be fine so you're fine there F1 again you want to go to your spawn tab click on Cajon sub go all the way down to the bottom that's where temp will be the newest file will always be there hit temp spawn and that's all there is to it buzz just like that as you can see the train is on there's another train on the network right now you're all set you're back in business and uh, that's all there is to it so anybody who loses a train has the ability to recover it even uh, if you're not sure what's going on the important thing is if you downloaded the train easily recoverable easily you can you can go ahead and place it anywhere uh, that it was or where you last were uh, what's important to note though is if you have a train that's been worked on that's been humped or otherwise switched and is custom it's very important that you save it you you have to save it at some point because if you if you've lost it and you go back on the network um, you you want to recover that save train immediately and make a backup for it uh, others who are doing it should make backups as well and that just saves a lot of headaches otherwise it's lost so this is the way you recover any uh, downloadable train you can do the same uh, otherwise it works either way anyways that's all there is for now talk to you later